Have you been? Fine, fine. Good? Yeah. Feeling good? Looking good? Yes. All right. Worry about the summer because of this, but well, let's... You don't need to worry because this is very easy. I'm going to show you. It's very, very few steps that you should do. It's simple and yep. you're going to be fine. You can do it yourself. So first what we do is I'm going to show you how, mm -hmm. to, how to remove the tape and the okay. front. Okay. Okay. It's very easy. You see, you just lift it up. Yeah. Yeah, another important part is to clean it, you know. It's yeah, it's very easy. You can use any remover. Okay. You can use a um, simple alcohol wipes. Okay. Yeah, you just take the tape off. Sometimes the tape would be would be on your skin. Sometimes it would be on the tape. It doesn't matter. Either way, you can just remove it. Okay, after remove it, should I clean it always? Yes. All right. So any alcohol wipes will do it. What you do is you just wipe off. Okay, in the skin first. Mm -hmm. All right. If it's a little sticky on the lace, you can always use alcohol wipes. Yes. And then use the towel. Okay. How how often should I clean it? Like, um, you mean shampoo it? Yeah, shampoo. It. I recommend you to shampoo at least every day, if not every other day. The reason why is the the sweating from the body and um, the heat from the body and the sweating will break down the tape. I always recommend clients to use any kind of alcohol. These you can always order online. Any, any um, alcohol spray, what you do is you spray on the lace yeah. and on the skin. Alcohol will remove the oil from the skin. So when you use that, you use a blow dryer. Make sure this the, the lace is very dry. Very dry. Okay. All right. If it's wet, the tape's not gonna stick. So it's very important to dry it. And now we're using the tape. Pretty simple steps. Because if the lace is wet, it's not gonna stick to this. So if you want if you want the tape to stick to the lace, it has to be dry. So when you use a little bit of alcohol here, and then you dry it, it's gonna be, uh, it's that, gonna stick better. That's why the water is not affecting when I'm taking right. a shower, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, pretty easy steps, and and then you will have a peace of mind. Yeah. And then if the tape is not long enough, you can always use a second piece. Cut it in the middle. Yeah. Depends on your hair, um, on your on your system. You can always buy the tape. If it's a little short, you can always use a second piece. Right there. Make sure you meet the edges. Yeah, like the diseases, like a mm -hmm. kind of puzzle, but pretty easy. Yeah, it's very easy. See, it's just like putting a bandaid on. Yeah. And make sure that you, when you put the tape, make sure you put it all the way in the edge. Don't put it too low because then it's not going to look nice. So once you do this, then you just hold from both sides mm -hmm. like that and little by little from each side, you put it down. Okay. Okay. And if you want, you can always use a comb. Okay? Mm -hmm. What you do is, you don't want to push it with your fingers because you don't want the hair to be stuck to this. Uh, so okay. use the comb and just push it down like that. 
So little simple, simple stuff, um, it makes a big difference. So how often do you recommend to, that I to change the front? Uh, maybe if I'm not working out, for example. If you see it's still fine, you don't have to change it. But mm -hmm. if you feel like it's a, little, it's a little sticky, you can always change it. It depends on how active you are. Depends on um, if you see, if you feel like you want to go somewhere and you want to you know, have like uh, be more secure, just yeah. change it. It's, it's easy. Yeah. But look how beautiful. Good. Thanks, Sarah.